It's quarter-finals day at the Swiss Indoors Basel, which boasts a stellar lineup. The last eight includes three Grand Slam champions, Andy Roddick, Novak Djokovic, and playing at his home tournament, three-time Basel champion Roger Federer. The first quarter-final featured world number 27, Richard Gasquet, against Serbia's Victor Choice, fresh from his first career ATP title in Moscow two weeks ago. The pair had never met before. It was a closely fought first set with little to separate the two players until Troisky took advantage of Gasquet's less than aggressive play. Troisky served it out for a 6 4 first set and simply looked like the player who wanted it more. After one hour and six minutes on court, Victor Troitsky reaches his fourth ATP World Tour semi final 6 4, 6 2. Wow, what a way to finish it off! I would say I'm playing my best tennis in my career, and uh, definitely I made some good results, and I hope I'm not going to stop here. Qualifier Robin Harsa had the unenviable task of facing reigning champion Novak Djokovic, who had taken their own previous meeting back in 2007. The Dutchman's overcome major knee surgery to climb over 380 ranking places in the last year, but he would need one of his best ever performances to overwhelm Djokovic. Shut up shop quickly, avoiding the danger and easing into the semi final. Okay, so the room secures Djokovic in his compassionate He's looking in ominous form. Uh, I would agree that he's playing best tennis of his life, winning first title in Moscow and here. He has a big serve and uh, he loves these conditions, the fast surfaces, and um, he's going he's gonna to be a very difficult opponent to beat tomorrow. Andy Roddick versus David Nalbandian was the hotly anticipated highlight of the day with two giants of the game battling it out for a place in the semi-finals. Roddick lost the last two of their five previous meetings but this time came out all guns blazing. The American's been in great form this week since recovering from his groin injury and he went on to take the first set 6-4. The Argentine is on his own road to recovery from serious injury, and he struggled to contest with the power of the American, who's motivated by the prospect of qualification for an eighth straight Barclays ATP World Tour Finals. Roddick served impeccably throughout the match and dominated from the back of the court. Oh, he's got it! Ridiculous! He's in to the semi-finals here in Basel once again. I'm excited. You know, I, I want to uh, keep going. Um, any match I win is, is big right now, and especially for here, but also for London. So uh, I want to keep trying to put, uh, put the pressure on the guys behind me. In the last match of the day, Swiss favourite and three-time champion Roger Federer encountered Radek Stepanek for the 11th time in their careers. Federer has won eight of their meetings, and the early signs would indicate more of the same. The Czech World Card reached the semi-finals here last year, but meeting Federer in his hometown in this kind of form made a repeat performance unlikely. Eager to regain the title here after losing out to Djokovic last year as he went on to steal an early break in the second set.
Yeah, I'm very happy. It was a, a tough match, you know, even though the scoreline shows it uh, a pretty routine. But, uh, you know, he makes you work hard. He makes you second guess your choices and uh, your shots. So I'm, I'm happy to have played so well tonight. I, I thought it was rock solid again. I served really well. He didn't have a break point, and that obviously and always allowed me to take some more chances on the return. So the semi final lineup looks like this. The first match is an all Serbian encounter before Roger Federer and Andy Roddick meet for the 22nd time in their careers. Hi, I'm Novak Djokovic. Watch me play Viktor Trojitsky for a place in the Basel final on tennistv.com, the home of live tennis.